So this chicken sandwich you see right here is from a place called Serrano. It's a super famous place in Montreal. Everybody knows that this is one of the best places you can get some chicken in a sandwich. Oh my god, this looks good. I'm really, really hungry today. I usually wait a couple seconds before I bite into the sandwich, but I'm really, really, really hungry. So this place, Serrano, it's on uh, St. Vieter. It's, uh, they make kick-ass sandwiches and everything's good and there's chicken and you get coleslaw in that sandwich. It's weird. It's Portuguese chicken with coleslaw. Very interesting. I actually got here and I was about to make the video, eat a sandwich. I was going to get my microphone. I have like these shelves above my computer that are held in with these like small screws. And um, so they're like two shelves above each other. And in between them, there was a mic, like my microphone that was like under it and turns out the, the shelf above was leaning on my microphone the whole time and the only support was the mic and as I pulled out the mic to use it for this video the whole freaking shelf fell over me and I had like a jar of coins and it exploded and I cut my hand a little bit and uh, good lord it took forever to clean up <laughs> Quite traumatic. This was actually my go-to hangover food. I re like, especially like I moved into the Mile End last summer, and I would like go to comedy shows, I would drink alcohol, wake up super hungover. I'd like walk around the neighborhood being like, uh, food, uh, food. I would literally look up food in Google Maps. And this place showed up a few times and I walked in and I had a good time eating these sandwiches on the, there's like a s church nearby with like steps and I would sit there and slowly eat them and <laughs> feel horrible, but like, but be rejuvenated from the delicious sandwich. As I was walking there, I realized that it was snowing. So it's late April here in Canada and like, it's supposed to be nice. Like this, like it was all like nice and stuff for the last like few weeks. It was like really getting warm and all of a sudden it started snowing again. I know it's a weird thing to be surprised that it snows in Canada, but it, like, first of all, you get the curfew that Quebec put on you. And then you get like all these restrictions that are put on you. And then the weather comes, you know, the nice weather. And you're like, yes, I can enjoy my life. And then bang, you're here with like a snowstorm and you're, well, not a snowstorm, like some flurries, they call it. It's a little bit of snow. And it's fine, whatever, you know, you live your life. And you know when people would say like, this is the new normal. Like the new, I hated that expression, the new normal. Cause it just sounded like, you know, it's like these expressions that people say that to sound cool or like trendy. I didn't know it actually meant the new normal. Like I thought like, oh, well, right now we're under all these restrictions and our lives are horrible and, but it's only for now. But now I'm convinced that we're constantly gonna be living under the fear that we're not gonna be able to do anything fun ever again and like fun stuff is gonna be illegal and we're not gonna allow it to see our friends or my best friend's literally gonna be our goddamn bird. <laughs> and that's the new normal. We're all gonna have like bird friends, you know? Are you, are you done yelling straight into my goddamn ear? Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I got a lot of videos up on here and way more to come. Thank you. <laughs> That's a huge sandwich. This place is around, I think it's been around for a long time. It's good, man. It's good sandwiches. Like the thing is you can mess up a chicken sandwich unless it's like really dry. But honestly, for the price and for the size, this is pretty solid. It's big, tastes good. This is what the future is going to be, man. They say that like time is money and you got to move around the move around the loose, you know? All food in the future is going to be like you grab it, you go, you eat it. You don't know where you're going to go next. I think it's like, I don't know what the what the summer is going to be like. Like, I don't know. You know when people are like, oh yeah, this is going to be a uh, hot boy summer. It's going to be, woo, we're going to... I don't really have a reason to be hot. I just like, it's going to be like sandwich guy summer or uh, just schlubby nerd summer oh, that was good. like I wanted to be a comedian like my whole life right like that's what I want to do and I don't think there's gonna be real like stand up comedians anymore I think that's all basically gone like all the comedians that exist right now that are like uh, have a living those are gonna be the last breed of comedians and the rest of us are just gonna be youtubers or tiktokers and um, there's like a little bit of satisfaction that comes with that my hope my goal is that I just eat enough sandwiches that you guys finally like me and you guys are gonna be like, wow, he eats a lot of sandwiches. He must be uh, famous or something. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, well, it's all in a day's work, folks. I don't know. I wanna get vaccinated so bad. Like basically people are like, oh, so what's your, what are your plans for the summer? Like I'm, I'm gonna get vaccinated and that's it. And I have friends that are like, why do you wanna go get vaccinated for? And then literally it's because I just wanna be in risky situations again, you know? And when I say risky situations, I wanna go out in public and walk around. That's all I literally wanna do without like the fear. And people are like, 
oh well you're young you're healthy and i'm thinking like i'm not i'm not young and i'm not that healthy <laughs> the news just came out right now that quebec is like allowing certain people to get vaccines like it's not just an age limit anymore now it's like people with certain diseases and now they included obesity in that which i think is interesting because that allows everybody basically the opportunity to get the vaccine if you eat enough <laughs> obesity like what the hell like i've been called obese by my girlfriend constantly and uh and the thing is like maybe like i'm definitely not obese i don't think i don't know if i'm even close to being obese but technically obese apparently technically obese is like um determined by your body mass index and i might have more body fat than i think i do and i might be on the obese scale and like getting a vaccine is like a selfless act you know like i'm eating a sandwich I'm one step closer to becoming a Canadian hero. So I'm basically trying to get obese, so I'm like trying to get unhealthy in order to get healthy. Hey, nah. <laughs> I know that makes perfect sense. Well, that's it. That's my video on, you know, on eating the Serrano sandwich. It's really good and I enjoyed it and it really hit the spot. So thank you for watching and hopefully the next time you see me, I'm gonna be vaccinated or probably not, I don't know. <laughs> All right, bye everybody.